Hello! This video is going to show you how to set up Selenium in Java in less than five minutes or however fast I can do it. Now there's a couple precursors that I'm not going to show in this video to get it set up. Don't worry, they're really easy and I'll include links in my description that show how to do these. One would be to go to the Selenium website itself and download Selenium and you're going to want to do it for Java. And then in Eclipse you're going to add it to your package file path and there's an excellent website tutorial of how to do that so I'll just include that it has screenshots and everything it's super easy to do the second thing you're going to need to do at least if you're using Google Chrome is to add Chrome's web driver this is also really simple you're going to go to this link in the description and download the Chrome driver it's going to give you a zipped file with a exe file in it um, just unzip that put it somewhere on your hard drive and remember where that is because that's the first step to getting it set up in your program Okay, now that we're in the file, I'm going to go ahead and do the first thing, which is to um, tell it where to find the Chrome web driver. So we're going to do a system.set property. And then for the key, you're going to type web driver.chrome.driver. And for the value, that's going to be the path of where to find it on your system. So I just put it on my C drive to make it simple for this video, but you can put it wherever you want. The next thing we need to do is to actually instantiate the web driver. Instantiate. There's a couple of imports that you'll need for this project, but I'm just going to type them out and let Eclipse populate them. Obviously, you can see them in the video, and so you can type them manually if you prefer or if that's not working. So we're going to type web driver and then give it some sort of name equals new Chrome driver since we are using Chrome. Okay, and I'll go ahead and import these. If it's not letting you import or can't find it, um, you haven't added Selenium to your Eclipse path correctly. Okay, driver is going to be where we do a lot of the things. Think of driver as the actual web page that we're on, wherever that web page is. And so if we want to find elements or manipulate the page or whatever, we're going to use um, this variable we created. Um, so if I use this right now, it would just open up a blank window of Chrome. Um, but that's not what we want. We don't want to actually go to a website. So I'm going to point it to a website. So we're going to be doing that by just calling driver.get and then here as a string pass the URL to the website. For the sake of this video, we'll just use the Selenium website and paste it right in there. Okay, so if we ran it right now, which I won't because I don't want to waste your time, but you'll just have to trust me on this, it's going to open up Chrome and then it will go to this website. Something that people like to do often is to maximize the window um, just to guarantee it's always going to be the same size, otherwise it might appear as some windowed size something. So that's as simple as typing driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Okay, so that'll bring up the window. So I will run it right now. And you'll see it pulls up Chrome, it pulls up the website, um, and then eventually it's going to, there you go, maximize it. Okay, so here we are on the web page. So the next part of doing Selenium tests is to actually do things on the page, right? And to manipulate the page or find elements on the page and click on them or go through some sort of flow where um, you're testing the web page, right? That it, that it works. So that driver we created, basically it's this page. It's everything you see here, um, whatever page that we're currently on. So we have access to the DOM for this page and to find elements on it. So I'm just gonna right click on one. I'm gonna click on this download link. I'm gonna hit inspect in Chrome or use whatever inspection tool for whatever browser you're using. So it pulls up this list item and then this anchor tag link to the download page. Now there's several different ways I can select this using Selenium. Selenium can select things by class, by ID, by XPath, by name, um, by CSS selector. There's a lot of different ones. And there is reasoning behind them um, as well, not just preferred, but some are going to be faster than others as they search the DOM. I happen to know that ID is one of, if not the fastest ways um, to find an element on the page. So we're going to go ahead and use the ID. In this case, even though this is the parent um, list item, it's also clickable, so that'll be fine um, for what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to create a new web element, and I'm going to call it download button, so I remember what it is. It's going to equal driver dot find element, and then in the parentheses is where we're going to specify how we're finding it. So in this case, we're going to find it by ID. There we go, got to import that. And then in these parentheses will be the ID name. In this case, menu download. I'll import the web element. Okay, so now I've found the element in the DOM and with this variable I created, I can now manipulate it. In this case, I want to click on it. And it's as simple as that, let's run it again. 
you'll see it takes me to the home page, maximizes the window, then links me to the download page, and now it's finished. Okay, so that's a super basic introduction to Selenium, but hopefully it gets you started. There's a lot more things to think about, but you can look them up from here, like how to wait for elements to load if they're not loading, how to incorporate this into a JUnit test so you're actually testing different test cases, um, etc. But hopefully this gets you on your feet running using Selenium. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them.